Hello everybody, excited to be here. So in this video we are going to go over some time series data that we are pulling from the Alpha Vantage API and then we are going to uh, parse it and then we are going to plot the data in matplotlib. So let's get started. All right, so import pandas as pd and then from alpha underscore vantage dot time series import time series and to plot from matplotlib import pyplot as plt and in my previous videos I showed how to get the API key and how it works so just really quick it's going to be API key is equal to and then you put your API key value within here and then it'll get read within this function so I have ran the cell above already so we are good to go so next is TS is equal to time series and then API equal or key equal to API underscore key comma and then output format is equal to pandas so we are going to be returning a pandas data frame in this data so it's going to be data comma metadata is equal to ts dot get daily and that's going to give us the open high low and close along with the volume data for nvidia stock so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to run the cell and next i'm going to take the data and I'm gonna save it as a CSV file, so data.2 underscore CSV, data.csv. Okay, and we can verify this. Uh, my Excel license has expired. Um, so we can just look at this data and I'll show you that even though you're getting the hash symbols here, all you have to do is go between these two columns and stretch it out. So all the uh, dates will display properly. You're not getting an error there. Okay, so we have the CSV written. So next we are going to do df is equal to pd dot read underscore csv and then we're going to read that csv comma parse dates so this is going to help with the x-axis and labeling the dates with the correct values. So parse dates is equal to, and then we have date, comma, index, call is equal to date and what this index call is doing is it is taking our date column and it is turning it into the index so that is uh, the row identifier so let's run this cell and then we can do df.tail last five values we can see what it looks like so here's our date and it's indexed and we have the open high low close and the volume for Nvidia stock for the last five days okay so next what we're going to do is we are going to plot some of this data. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do DF. And then we are going to, so the useful part about 
indexing the date is now it makes it really easy as for for us to slice the data to get a range of dates that we would like so uh, I'm going to type in 2019 ninth month and 15th day and then I want it to pull all the way up to the current date which is the first of October and then the next set of values I'm going to get is the close so looking up here we have the close right here so this is going to go right here so it's going to be four dot close and what we're going to do is we are going to do dot plot okay so now let's make the title and the X and Y labels so PLT dot title NVDA prices enter PLT dot X label is the date and plt dot y label is the closing price and next we are going to use plt dot type layout and this helps with formatting uh, the dates so they come in properly all right, and lastly, we are going to do plt.show and see what the outcome is. Okay, so we have the data and it is running from after the 15th, so we're starting on the 16th, and we are going all the way up to October 1st, which is today. Hopefully this video helped. Uh, please comment and subscribe. Thank you so much.